Wrestling fans, thanks for clicking today's Dreaded Heroes Report. Hey, don't know whether you watch too much of uh, wrestling, but I'm going to give you some news on it. And you know, I can bet they won't put another belt on another champion like uh, Brock Lesnar. This is going to be gone for months at a time. I got a feeling they're catching hell over all that. I mean, even with The Rock, he was there, but man, he came back, I think, within a month and uh, uh, put it up again, and you know, he represented it real good. But if Lesnar had something else to do where he was making movies and, you know, things like that, it'd be different. But as far as I know, he's home with, uh, maybe, that's, maybe that's what it is. He's home with his wife. I'd like to be home. Well, anyway. Hey, while it was reported, uh, Sheamus' injuries on Raw are all storylines, supposedly. He posted the following on Twitter this morning. And WWE latest update on Sheamus from Tuesday noted that he suffered a uh, left cervical uh, naproxia. Not sure what that is. It's a stinger in the arm. Know what that is. Bone spurring. Narrowing of the spinal canal, which is spinal uh, tenosis. And the narrowing of the nerve canal, which is neuroformalia along with nerve compression in his neck. He's got all that wrong with him, but hey, it's all storyline. Supposedly. I don't know. I hope not. I mean, I hope it is storyline. Anyway, the bunny on this week's episode of uh, WWE Main Event was played by none other than NXT star Sami Zayn, which should be on the roster at any time. The main roster. Uh, bunny teamed up with uh, Adam Rose to uh, face Natalya and Tyson Kidd. Noted before, though, Zane won't be revealed as the bunny, but uh, he's been uh, used to work that gimmick several times. But uh, I got a feeling they're going to have some big surprise under that bunny one of these days. That he's going to get his head knocked off and scare the kids, and then uh, out comes uh, Roman Reigns, maybe? <sighs> Who knows? All right, noted before, but they got a good uh, way to surprise somebody on that. Anyways, noted before yesterday that Daniel Bryant, he's a, you remember him, Daniel Bryant. He's been uh, included in all of WrestleMania 31 promotional material, but is not currently on the plans for the big event, which don't sound right. It uh, was noted by the sources that uh, the main uh, reason that Bryan was kept in the promotional material is to help the local sales uh, of tickets there and the exposure of WrestleMania. Uh... Daniel Bryan's got a strong buzz in the Bay uh, Area around there and with his relationship with the World Series uh, champion, the San Francisco Giants. That's bad to be doing that. That's kind of mean. But F4W Online reports that uh, a new day with Xavier Woods, Big E, Kofi Kingston may debut at the uh, Survivor Series. They may come in and just you know kick somebody's butt all over the place. All right, it's confirmed on last night's TNA Impact episode that the best of show that airs in two weeks will look back at the top moments from 2014, which should take uh, maybe five or ten minutes. Anyway, uh, last night is the on TNA, uh, or up for TNA on uh, Spike is the last of the shows. Uh, so they're going to have some reruns and some movies in their place on during the holidays and stuff, but... Uh, then in uh, sometime in January, I would think the first part of January, they'll be on the uh, Discovery Channel's uh, offshoot. Uh, so they're not done yet. <clears throat> Samoa Joe mentioned, though, on uh, TNA TV that uh, he would be out of action for a while, then when he but then he returned to action at Rawway All-Pro Wrestling Show in Rawway, New Jersey, November, November 15th. So apparently a while for Samoa Joe's not very long. And it's worth noting that uh, WWE did not put uh, out a press release touting WrestleMania ticket sales for the first time in years. And uh, WrestleMania 31 tickets went very well, but the first allotment was not sold out. And as noted, however, WWE hasn't uh, had a first day sellout for WrestleMania in years, probably since Hogan. Uh, or, well, it could have been Austin, I would think. All right, dollar figure for WrestleMania tickets. Gets, catch this, though. Sales are very high because WrestleMania tickets is the highest price of any of them. I don't remember what they were. I used to get in uh, uh, in uh, Indianapolis at the shows years ago. I think it was it seemed like uh, 20 bucks. Anyway, not for WrestleMania. 
But anyway, all tickets from $35 to $100 are sold out, but the tickets from $200 to $1,000 are still available. I have no idea. I don't understand why. But on the secondary mark, $35 tickets are going for $83.75. The $2,000, hello, are going for $4,400. I wonder if you still get to take the seat home with you, the chair. I would take the whole row home with me. Man. All right, WWE's website's got a new poll up asking fans, who's the strongest team overall? Is the Team Cena? Is the Team Authority with over 10,000 votes? 78% says Team Cena. But what do we know, huh? And uh, noted before that uh, Seth Rollins is featured on the cover of a January 2015 issue of The Box Magazine. I would thought Lana would be on there, but apparently she's not. And uh, that issue is now available everywhere. I never heard of the magazine. Rollins discussed the importance of CrossFit in the article and notes that Rollins uh, has trained uh, CrossFit for four years and plans on entering his third CrossFit uh, Open in uh, 2015. Chris Masters of Booker T said they're being falsely advertised for a championship wrestling, uh, or championship uh, United wrestling uh, event in uh, Wisconsin this Saturday night. Not us. Chris, Chris Jericho is being advertised for January uh, 17th WWE live event in Raw. On I don't know if that's Raw or not. But anyway, at their live event in uh, Las Vegas. Usually it's Raw. Leading into speculation, he may re be returning uh, in the uh, 2015 Royal Rumble match. Anyway, Jericho will reportedly uh, be uh, appearing on other WWE live events beginning in January. The two sides are working on a deal right now, pounding it out. All right. The old officials uh, seem confident that a deal will be reached, and they've been told WWE's marketing marketing department that Jericho is is working a full live event schedule during January and February. The idea it says is that uh, Jericho will be the reverse Lesnar in a sense that he only works live events and will not work TV or pay-per-views during, uh, during those two months. The plan can always change as uh, Jericho didn't want to appear on TV last week uh, when he worked in the UK tour because he didn't want to come back and have his return not be a big deal. So this may be the same reason Jericho doesn't want to you know, work TV or pay-per-views uh, for a while until everything gets uh, hashed out. And... Uh, you know, have a big surprise return to us. But, you know, it's a good way to get ring rust off of you. And Jericho's not currently scheduled for WrestleMania 31, but um, will be able to appear as Fozzie's European Tour wraps up on March 21st. WWE has reduced the price of Daniel Bryant merchandise. That's kind of scary. At live events by 60% to help clear it out. This could be another indication that Brian isn't expected back anytime soon, but there's also uh, the same, they do the same thing with Ray Mysterio, who uh, is expected back, I guess, and Zack Ryder, who will be back in six months. Uh, while Brian is still featured at WrestleMania 31 promotional post, there's still no internal timetable for his return, and there are no plans for him at WrestleMania season, any kind of storyline either. Uh, WWE writer's been told to figure Brian in, to uh, not to figure Brian into any program until further notice. Uh, he could be a manager, come out, take over the authority they lose. All right, WWE Network has incorporated a continuing watch and a watch list function. What? Well, anyway, that's on the network with uh, the watch list function. function. You can add any episode or series and quickly access it through my account tab. And the continuing watch function allows users to resume watching any network video that they've stopped watching. You know, we're too tired to, to, to fast forward up to where we quit watching. we got to have something just, you know, we're just so tired of having to scan. WWE's World Heavyweight Champion Brock Lesnar has been added to December 15th Raw in Detroit, January 26th Raw in Hartford. Now, here's the updated list so far. December 8th, first time back. Greenville, uh, 15th in Detroit, 29th, Washington, D.C., uh, January 12th, uh, New Orleans, uh, January 19th, Hartford, or rather uh, Dallas, and uh, 20, January 26th, Hartford. 
Happy birthday to uh, WWE and former TNA referee Dan Engler. Rudy Charles, 37 years old. Comedian Thea Vidal, uh, also known in uh, WWE with her stint as Mama Benjamin, 58 years old. Uh, if you got any questions, uh, put them on the comment line. I'll be glad to look at it, look at them, and say thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. But thank.